Hello everyone, Indigo Snake here again. We're on session three of Xenosaga episode one, and hopefully things will start uh, picking up. Okay, let's continue instead of wanting to do a new game. All right, we're on the wild line. Basically in the last episode, we were just exploring the ship. Um, we came here, we got stopped by somebody uh, because we had to get some data, I guess. Or like we were talking to Alan and then we have to go to some place to um, do some maintenance on other life forms, let's say that. No, we don't want to rest now. Oh, I got an email from Miyuki. I wonder what it is. Shion, how are you doing? Thank you for the MWS, the weapon you used in your on in your left hand during battle. It didn't seem to be in my hand, it seemed to just be on my arm, eating it up and destroying it. Is it? Uh, data from the test we ran alongside Cosmos in the Cephalon. I've moved one step forward with my magnificent plans thanks to you. Now the only thing I need is a real test. So I've sent you a real MWS. It should reach you soon. Well that's great. If the Gnosis attack now, they're so dead. Doing these tests provides a bit of aerobic exercise. It may even have some weight loss effects. So in a way, it's like you're killing two birds with one stone. Xion does not look like she needs to lose weight. I... This is a theme in a lot of Japanese, like, things, like, media, whatever, it's a female, They're, all the females are all trying to lose weight all the time, it, it's not a good message. Like, n none of it's saying be healthy, all of it is saying lose weight. It, it drives me crazy. Alright. <laughs> Please make sure you pick it up when it arrives. That's great. Oh, yes. It, I lost three kilograms, look at this. I lost three kilograms, you see. It's just like I said, the apple diet really works. I'm, I'm, I'm scared to know what the apple diet is. Like, it could just be you're eating apples, which is terrible. You can't just eat apples. Like, I can already see malnutrition. I hate diets where you have to focus on one food. It's, it's never a good one. You really want to be on a diet? Just eat healthier. Magnificent plan? What in the world is that girl planning? I think the main part of dieting is just portion control, not eating like, I will just eat a pomegranate or I will just eat an apple because it has health benefits. Sure it does, but you can always have too much of a good thing. Um, alright, let me look at this, this game about driving, I hate stuff when they start talking about losing weight, getting my nerves, alright. Oh, Miss Suzuki, do you know anything about the Gnosis? Yes, I'm quite familiar with the nose, it's not really. Okay, so I'm pretending like I've never played this before, so really we, we don't know anything about gnosis right now. Besides the fact that you fight them. Did you know the gnosis can appear anywhere and everywhere, even in space or inside a ship? Just thinking about it makes me so scared. I can't sleep. I have, haven't gotten decent sleep ever since I got assigned on this ship. Jesus. Also, this is the triplet. We've seen this girl three times now. Um, let's see anything, anything around here, nothing, we got little benches, no one sits down, everyone's working. Hello, person standing uh, at a standstill. Sorry, but you won't be able to go this way for a while. Okay. I'm very sorry, but that door is not open to traffic right now. This damn annoying old crane started acting up until maintenance is finished. No one is allowed to even walk by here. And please don't touch anything. This thing might throw its entire load if someone presses the wrong switch. This gate is currently sealed. Please use an alternate gate. Just checking around. See if anything happens. Alright. So this so that way is is we can't go that way. So we're just gonna go back past our room. It's important to at least try to remember this map. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Alright, let's go. 
let's talk to blue girl she cute too man so many cute little girl little girls women okay on the ship so much anime girls oh chief uzuki lieutenant caspis caspis wants to talk to you about tuning up the realians i hear the lieutenant was just a military doctor after being commissioned so he can't do anything by himself it must be tough for you getting called in like this all the time not at all i enjoy ta talking with the realians sure let's talk with more people or realians as they've called them So Cosmos is an android, and we're about to speak to Bialians, which, I, who knows, I don't know how they're different from androids. They seem to Hello. Pro they're, you they're probably just all mechanical. I don't know. My apologies, Miss Uzuki. It seems we're constantly in need of your help. No problem, Lieutenant. I want everyone to be healthy and happy, too, after all. So, what's the problem today? Well, I'm trying to teach them some new battle algorithms to better reflect the unit's reorg. But the integration is not going very smoothly. You're right. He's rejecting the data. Let's see. That's how I type on computers, too. <laughs> this, yeah, like, you know how they have a whole class in typing? You don't need that. You just need to do that. Oh, my wandering stick. <laughs> Look at this. I'm still walking. I'm not even touching anything. Alright. This, this, this won't get me in trouble because this is like a turn-based game, generally. Alright, so looking at how this guy was talking about uploading data, these people seem very mechanical. Just like an android. So I don't know right now what the difference is between them. Let's see, I just need to check the realians lying on the maintenance beds, right? Yes, thanks for your help. This is also, he, this is also a twin. We saw him <laughs> in that other place too with the, the smackdown dude. <laughs> How is that? It's just a temporary fix though. Yes, I cannot express it appropriately, but I feel like some weight has been lifted. Everything feels a bit brighter. Thank you very much. Our blonde hair, blue eyed realian. Move on to the next uh, twin. That should do it well. Do you have any dizziness or anything? No, I am fine. We are combat models, so even our training causes heavy wear and tear. Regular tune ups like this are very much appreciated. No, no, no. I didn't really do much. Yeah, you literally didn't. Like, you really just tapped on the keyboard. And, and stared intensely into a computer screen. We had a full-time counselor to do the servicing before we left port. Unfortunately, when it's a long tour and we only have maintenance beds, problems always crop up. Long missions are stressful for us too. Besides, these guys were just born, so it's not surprising. What in the world? These realities are born? I don't know if they have expedited growth, because these people are like full-grown adults. Also, counselor. So now Xion is a counselor or filling in for a counselor, even though she's just, I did it. What you think? That's basically what she's saying to everybody. This is a completely different model. Hmm, nothing seems particularly unusual. Are you not feeling well? I have been studying fables and proverbs, but I am unable to use them properly, and I am always being laughed at. Hmm, but your linguistic center doesn't seem to have any abnormalities. You look, it is difficult to understand problems. Talk to this person. With some light counseling, they seem to have no problems at first glance, but errors show up when we try to install new software. That's because their compensator program makes it seem like you're getting through to them. But if you examine more closely, errors start showing up in their subconscious. In other words, the stress eventually gets to them. Basically, they're the same as infants. Okay. Sure, I understood. Everybody understood that? Because I understood it. Don't ask me to explain that. Okay. Your values are, st your values are stable. As in numbers, and not like philosophical values. I don't see any particular problems. Understood. Then I will return to my duties. Wait a minute. I think you could express a bit more joy. Maybe your emotional expression isn't working right. Really? Are we... That is so weird. Like, that that's one thing I don't like about Xion is that 
she's going to tell somebody how much joy they need to express and what's normal. What the heck? How are we judging what's normal? All right. Next green haired lady. I'm sure in Vector you, might, you must have a much larger and more sophisticated tuning department. In the army, the realities are becoming a more vital part of the force. We are still way behind when it comes to maintenance and tuning. So they're androids? So they're like androids, but they're like people. So they're like a mix between, like a, a weird mixture of human, human-like qualities and machines. I think they're completely machinery though, if I'm not mistaken. Um, lately I find functional impediments occurring when communicating with a certain person. My pulse becomes rapid, pers perspiration increases, and I become unable to articulate well. Hmm, that's odd. I wonder if it's an OS bug. It sounds like she's in love with somebody. Wait, Shion, what, what are you doing? She's not a full counselor. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's wrong. Your brain waves seem to be chaotic. Um, ever since I was assigned to the walk line, I haven't been the same. I've slowly lost mental composure, and my body has begun to manifest minute spasms. Hmm, the shape of these waves. Could it be fear of battle? Oh, you got it right this time, Shion. This, this one's fear. The other person's in love with somebody. Cutscene. <laughs> I'm gonna try to move a little faster through this. I'm well, taking some time. <laughs> I've made some adjustments, but please contact Third Division once we return. I recommend they receive more intensive counseling soon. I'll be sure to do so. You know, I'm really impressed. Providing Realian psych support on top of developing Cosmos. I hear even specialized counselors have a I'm hard get time. Some water because... Oh, I'm just making the most of what my mentor taught me. I'm glad I could be of help. Besides, I always wanted to work in the third division. Actually, I'm thinking about requesting a transfer once my current work's finished. But Vector's first R&D division has the best researchers in the organization. Everyone knows not just anyone can get in there. Are you sure that you want to transfer? Oh, yes. Besides, my family's always asking, how did you get assigned to the First Division? There must have been a mistake in the paperwork. Who knows? Maybe they're right. She referenced Besides, her family as if she has a huge family that she talks to on a regular basis. Learn so much more Let's about see if that's true. What's learning about them going to do for you? Lieutenant Virgil. I like guys with scars. <laughs> he has scars. It's so sexy. <laughs> Their stench. What? It reeks. I can't get their rotten odor out of my system. Can't you smell it? It makes me sick to my stomach. Huh? What are you? Are those like green eyes or green blue eyes? That's enough. You got your orders from the lieutenant commander, didn't you? One of the goals of this operation is to enhance combat support between the eggs and the new model realians. And yet your support? Huh. In a battle against them? The last thing I want to worry about is supporting a bunch of untested weapons grade realians. Um. Excuse me, but these people are highly qualified soldiers. These people? You're treating equipment like people? Oh, you really shouldn't say things like that. These people have the same intellect and emotions as us. And the Milsha Charter clearly spelled out the basic human rights of realians when it was ratified in 4763. What a load of crap. Get off your soapbox. You act noble and She's really just telling you facts. It's not only a soapbox. But in the end, they're just equipment as far as your company's concerned. Or maybe more like merchandise. We don't treat them anything like equipment or merchandise. Then why do you categorize them as weapons-grade realians? How much more evidence do you need than that? 
Whatever you care to That's call them, their weapons grade they're nothing Mihalians. but tools of warfare. Besides, I know your little secret. You guys have an emergency override code to control them, don't you? <sighs> Virgil! Why are you... Huh? What do you want? It is as you say, sir. We are manufactured as merchandise and raised accordingly. However, I take great pride in what I do now. And this pride was not forced upon me. It is of my own free will. That is so confusing. Like they're merchandise, but they're proud of what they do. Free will, huh? Well, good for you. You'd better just enjoy it while you can. The time will come soon enough when you'll realize what's going on. Just you wait. Is he... a DME addict? That's okay, Zanazaga. You don't need to tell me what that is. I already know that DME stands for... Dragon Meat Eater. He eats dragons. Badass. Um, that is so weird. Like, again, I'm gonna bring up Detroit Become Human because, you know, it features these sort of issues. But look at how, like, this old, like, early 2000s game uh, takes this issue way differently and it's not central to the plot and it's not gonna be compared to the civil rights movement or anything like that. But so, even after these equipment so he called them equipment so i'm going to assume that these are completely mechanical like biomechanical beings um and so they all have emotions and all this even though she on talking about uh this person isn't expressing emotions properly as in like uh it may not have developed like they're just pretty much machinery like kind of like and kind of like cosmos how they just kind of installed emotions i don't know how that works but these Vialians seem a seem a, a little more human than than Cosmos. Let's say that. But and then he also called them untested um, machines. And what's weird is that he mentioned the fact that they do have an override code. So even if there is some sort of law that says that they should be treated as humans, um, they're still merchandise. And they and the Vialians themselves know that they're merchandise. And they also know that there's an override code. So I don't know what this is. This really just sounds like, uh, hey slaves, you're free, but not really. That, that's what this sounds like, which is why he said soapbox, because despite the laws, we're still treating them like um, machines. Because it's not like they are controlling their own means of re reproduction. Like they, they, pretty, they pretty much complete, this is what it seems like, they, they pretty much completely depend on the people who create them. And it's not like they move out of the house or anything. They like they are at the complete mercy of human beings. Um, all right, so that seems like the door. I'm gonna just look around here really quick. They're so interesting. And Dinosaur does not go into detail about this, so it's very confusing. And we just kinda glaze over this fact. Definitely, Xion is the kind of character that sympathizes with humanoid, you know, objects. And that is a difficult question to answer. Like, do we, are they human, quote unquote? Are they living beings? How should we treat these people? Is it wrong for us to treat them somewhat mechanically if they My were designed that way? Ms. Uzuki. He wasn't always like that. But then, something happened. Is he an old acquaintance? We were classmates at the military academy. This is academy, the third time I've seen this I've character. I've stuck with him since then. It was Milsha. I see. So, that's why. You knew about that, huh? Then again, anyone planning to join the 3rd Division would know. Well, I... I'm from Milsha. Huh? Of course, 
no one's allowed to go there anymore. My family moved to Second Milsha when they transferred the capital after the war. And my brother still lives there alone. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring back painful memories. Oh, it's all right. After all, it's something we must never forget about. For our sake and theirs as well. So she's from Milsa. Oh no! And something I forgot I had to happened to the there. Bridge. Something Sorry. probably I'll not exciting. Check on them or later. Probably not super happy. Bye. <laughs> wow, it is difficult to analyze this. Like even now, as an adult, and I know more things than I did as a child. I am noticing more things. Um, now that I have to do commentary for it. Some of the soldiers were drafted unexpectedly, so the troop formation is not quite up to par. If the Gnosis attacked us now, I don't know if we could fight them. Head on. Well, that's good to know. I love hearing things like that. Alright. Vector employees all are all such polite, friendly people. I was under the impression that researchers were all uptight, so I was a little surprised. That's a little, uh, classist, isn't it? Uh, let's go. I'm guessing these are all like maybe blue collar workers. Perhaps if you're like a technology research person, you get paid way more than these guys. Hey, that container doesn't belong there. Take it to block three. What are you doing? Take all the ammo to the eggs hanger. He's doing the job. Cool. Let's talk to this guy. Hi, Shion. You're looking cute as usual. I'm sorry, uh, no. <laughs> Actually, you could be a nice guy. I can't see him. I really can't see this guy at all. Hello, Mr. Holgar. Hey, now, quite quit with the formalities. Call me Mr. Driller. <laughs> D Driller, did you say? I'm really skilled at using the drill crane, so much so I wish the drill council would acknowledge it. Of course, su Susumo, Susum, Susumo, Hori, Hori, I can't, I can't do it. And I are equals when it comes to drilling. Don't ever confuse me for the run-of-the-mill drill worker. Uh, Mr. Holgar. Mr. Hol- I mean, Mr. Driller? What is it, Shion? I have to get going. Bah, that doesn't matter at all right now. A clumsy worker caused an accident and they can't work because the wreckage is in the way. That's where my drill crane and I come in. But even with an awesome driller like me, this is one heck of a tough job for just one guy. It's tough, real tough for just one guy. That's where you, my cute little Shion, come into the picture. You've answered my drill call. <sighs> They're really going in with this drill drill, aren't we? Am I right? I'm right, aren't I? You'll do it, won't you? You'll help my noble cause, won't you? It's a noble cause, you say. Um, of course I'm gonna give this a try. I'm gonna try everything. Um, Mr. Holt, Mr. Driller. I'll give it a try, but I may not be able to fully appreciate drilling like you do. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll take over my drill then? Okay, first I'll teach you how to operate the drill crane. Listen closely, operating a drill is not about reflexes or clever techniques. It's all about heart and soul within. That's why you gotta believe in the heart of the cards. And also the drill, crash for your drill will allow you to operate the drill as you wish. I'm trying to remember the Garn Logan slogan, but I, it's, it's slipping my memory right now. Boy, he's really gone off the deep end. Now I'll show you how to operate the drill. Listen carefully and get this all down, okay? First, I'll explain vertical movement. If you press the square button, the drill will start moving vertically. If you let go, the drill will stop right at the spot. Even if you keep pressing the button, the drill will stop once it's reached the edge of the rail. Before moving the drill, you can move the camera freely using a left analog stick. You can switch between cameras using R2 button. You will need to switch cameras to determine the drill's precise location, so be sure to make good use of them. Moving the drill is a one-shot deal. Operate the buttons carefully. When you're done moving vertically, you can then move the crane horizontally, switching cameras using the R2 button and use the square button to move the drill, just like you did when moving the crane vertically. Of course, this is also a one-shot deal that you can't do over. When you're done moving vertically and horizontally, the drill will do the work on its own. The drill will come down and destroy anything under it. Obviously, nothing will happen if nothing's there. If you miss, you can always do it over again. And if you want to quit, the crane will stop if you press the X button. That's everything you need to know about the drill. Well, what do you think? Simple, right? Hmm, I think I get it, sort of. 
Yeah, I got it. Square button, left analog stick to look, and R2 button to switch camera angles. Let's get this easy. Man. So, those are the easy ones. I don't know if I get that. I don't know if I got that one. I might have missed it. Ooh, I missed it. Yeah, what's the point? It's alright. Oh, what? Oh, oh, I almost killed him. I'm sorry. Woo! Alright. That might be too far. Oh my goodness. Let me check out. There's really only two angles here. Oh, three angles. Oh, um, we can get a better perspective right here. I really can't tell actually from there. Oh, it was terrible. Oh no. <laughs> that was shitty. That was not good. <laughs> I'm having so much issue now. I'm, I'm, I'm over here like I'm a pro driller. Oh my god, I keep doing the same thing. It's too far. Alright, this one's even more here. Oh no, I hit. Oh my god. Wait, I got it? How did I get it? Okay. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Been too ambitious there. <laughs> the easy one I can't get. Anymore, apparently. Thank you for letting me get those pixels. Phew! Looks like I finally got it done. Not too shabby. I knew you had a passion for drilling, Xion. Never give up, even when you miss. That's the most important quality in a driller. Uh, um. Well, thanks. Thanks to you, everything is nice and tidy again. Here's a token of my of my things. It's a drill pass. Drill password obtained. I thought you got that from the, from the encephalon. If you go back into it, here's a little something extra. Go ahead, it's yours. Please let it be a med kit. Yes, give me these med kits. Give it all to me. So this doesn't make sense. Okay, when you destroy something with a heavy drill, um, there will still be debris everywhere, but apparently just it disintegrates. All right, next person. Please be careful around here. It's a high traffic area for work carts. There's cargo being moved overhead by wires, and just now there was an accident over there. Okay. There's an emo for Xion. One day we'll get through this game, but there is a lot of reading involved. Miss Uzuki, thank you for your recent subscription for our Megabyte Stores database services. This is to inform you that we have successfully secured a database domain for you to use. This service utilizes the inspector function on your portable connection gear to acquire specific information only and it stores it regularly to our central server. You specify gnosis and keyword as categories for your saved data. You will need to save the database plugin attached to, to this email in order to use this service. Plugins are devices that may be attached to the connection gear to add new functions to it. By request, the database plugin will automatically be saved when this email is sent. Lastly, the database plugin will save data in the database based on need. Please visit the Megabyte store again. Our procurator, our AI, is speaking to us again. The fact that you received an email from a Megabyte store must mean you will be able to use the human database in the near future. Very perceptive. By the way, why did you select Keyword and Gnosis as their databases? You have a reason, don't you? No. No reason. <laughs> the reason why I thought of using Keyword is because I can file all the keywords that come up in conversation in a database. That way I can always go back and check the detailed description later. I am pretty familiar with most technical terms, but sometimes keywords that I don't know the definitions for appear. Well, the, the audience don't know about these technical terms. Oh, I see. I selected Gnosis just in the case. There is a possibility that I will have to fight them in the future, right? I agree with you. You probably won't be able to get value baiting battles with Gnosis. On top of that, you may be placed in a situation where you have to fight the same type of Gnosis more than once. Right. That's why I thought the best thing to do was gather data. Alright, cool. And I... Okay, so I don't need to download this. 
So let's just get out of this. It did say it would it would download it uh, automatically when it was sent, but you know, just checking. The most important thing in hand-to-hand -hand combat is to know what your enemy looks like and have an understanding of his behavior. Cool. Please don't worry, we will protect all the personnel on board the ship. That's great, Realians. That's great. Both of them are blonde, by the way. A lot of large percentage of them are. Hey, look. Wow, they really have very similar looking realities. The Walk Line is truly a wonderful ship, but I am unable to express in words how wonderful I think this ship really is. Just want to just sing about it. <laughs> Please go have a walk around the ship and enjoy the greatness of this craft for yourself. Cool, okay. <laughs> it's like I'm on Enterprise. I'm just gonna walk into uh, whoever room this is. Hey, cool. It's, it's a it's the Borg. I didn't know they're on the ship. Hmm? What is it? Do you want something from me? Who could imagine that a woman as beautiful as you would appear in such a messy room? You're truly a trash in a dunghill. Um, are you saying I'm trash? That's right, trash. Um, are you sure you don't mean to say jewel? Oh, well, you could say that too. Well, well, even Homer sometimes bobs. Everyone slips up. Even Homer sometimes nods. I, I don't know that saying, actually. W wait, is that how it goes? Is he human or is he just really nervous? <laughs> I mean, is he not human or is he just... So this is a save point. I could stop here. I should probably stop here. But I'm not going to stop here. <laughs> I want to continue. I'm tired of nothing happening. I mean, this is fun and all, but... The audience wants to see some action, right? You guys came in for some action. Somehow you made it to the third, to the third session. I don't understand what's happening, but since you made it here, might as well keep going. I don't know, I'm supposed to have 30 minute episodes or an hour. Hey, hey, those are my quarters. Don't be snooping around. Oh, sorry. Well, it's not like you can get in without the key anyway. I think I'll stop when I actually get to the bridge. Damn it, now where could it be? I thought I left it in this pocket. Is something the matter? Huh? Oh, I think I misplaced the key to my quarters. Where did it go? Maybe I'll find it and just roll up in your room one day. Maybe with, when you are changing clothes, who knows? There's an email for Xi'an. Well, of course we're going to read it. You don't ignore emails, okay? Indigo Snake here. She does not ignore email. Xi'an, how are you? Have you received the fruit of my labor, the MWS, yet? It's quite impressive what you say. Well, I mean, what? You haven't tried it out yet? You really ought to see it in action. Anyway, I have a juicy story to share with you today. I think you'll find it interesting. It actually concerns Cosmos. I thought that might get your full and undivided attention. You know Boris from 2nd Division Small Munitions Group, right? He's the guy who accidentally set off the experimental VS transmit generator. It was nearly fired for it. Well, it seems he hasn't learned his lesson yet because he's secretly planning something behind the director's back again. I thought he was acting suspiciously, so I kept my eye on him, and my intuition proved right. When I pressed him for answers, we struck up an interesting little conversation. I think he filled me in because I kept quiet and let him do all the talking. Hee hee hee. I'm sure that's how she laughs. Boris told me that his plan is to develop the ultimate weapon befitting Cosmos. Should he succeed in realizing the potential power of this weapon, one attack will damage the enemy's entire party. Hmm, what kind of move weapon is this? The basic design is complete. All that's left to be done now is simulation test. The calculator used in the design, however, is a bit lacking in power, so we decided to farm up the calculation process among several computers. At the moment, we are secretly recruiting friends and interested vector personnel. A few people from the first R&D division are participating too. The connection node size is approximately 60. Pretty impressive, huh? You have the newest Rios model, right? So how about it? Would you like to participate? It would probably boost the overall calculation speed. What do you think? Sounds interesting, right? Please apply if you'd like to participate. We would really like Cosmos to have this weapon. I'm sending you the plugin. All you have to do is connect it to your connection gear. Oh, and please do a suit. Do so as soon as you can, okay? If you spend too much time trying to persuade people, I'm afraid some of the higher-ups might find out, so please respond quickly to this email. It should be fine if you send me a response while you're still on the walk line. I 
hope to hear from you soon. So that part right there says that if you don't do it while you're on the walk line, you can't do it. <laughs> so let's reply. Your side project seems risky, but it's a bit more stimulating that way, isn't it? When Boris finishes his weapon, it will increase Cosmos's battle strength. I think there's a reason to help, so I've decided to participate in the project. Please send me necessary, the necessary file. Yeah, let's do this. We did it. We're gonna go back now. <laughs> What are these Gnosis things anyway, in this era of scientific omnipotence? I never thought we'd be fighting ghosts and monsters. They creep me out. Me too. I don't even know what they are. The government's investigation unit is keeping a close grip on the object that was recovered the other day. And that was also in our first cutscene, if you remember. Our opening scene. You're vector personnel, right? Then you must know what that thing, thing we recovered is. The thing we recovered? I'm sorry, I don't know anything about it. Whoa, not even Vector knows about it? I had thought the investigation unit came from Vector. No. No, Vector is just all concerned about the android. Are you a human? Hey, you're Vector personnel, right? Is it true that this ship has the ultimate anti-gnosis weapon on board? Yes, that's true. Hmm, since it's called the ultimate weapon, it must be really amazing. I bet it's massive and capable of zapping entire hordes of gnosis, right? Oh no, it's not that large. It's about... And about the zapping part. Lieutenant Grable, your excessive use of ammo was noted during your today's hostage rescue training. Sorry, I got caught up. As a field commander, you must maintain your composure at all times. Otherwise, your actions will result in the deaths of those whom you command. I know, I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed to say I messed up during training. When I found out that the hostage was a kid, my emotions took over. But it's okay, it happens all the time. I guess I have a ways to go. Keep in mind that you're an officer and try to act accordingly. I bet it can fire fire huge beams from its chest area and vaporize enemy in a single shot. Well, that's oddly specific, sir. What? No, I didn't design it to be able to do things like that. So who's going to pilot the secret weapon? Huh? Well, uh, um, excuse me, but I have to go. Wow, this person. Hey, have they decided on a pilot for the secret weapon? If you haven't decided yet, let me pilot it for you. I bet I can utilize the secret weapon's functions to the fullest. I'm sure he's not trying to be sexual. Oh, what? Uh, no, pilots aren't an issue. Um, I'm sorry, goodbye. This guy is... This guy seems to know a lot, even though he doesn't. <laughs> he's accidentally telling you things that may or may not happen in the future. Alright, sounds like a foreshadow guy. I'll call him Mr. Foreshadow. Man, I'm getting sick of this. Investigating planetary disappearances and recovering flot flotsam. Flotsam? I don't know how you pronounce that, but, you know, it's debris, basically. There's nothing for us marines to do. Or flotsam's like floating objects. Hey, Xion! Over here, right here. Oh, it's Sergeant Swain. What's up? Hello, Sergeant Swain, is something the matter? I've got something for you. I'm going to present you with the results of my research. Research, you mean your hobby of investigating all the doors on the ship? What a hobby. Yep, that's it, but I'm not just investigating the doors. Well, wanna know what I'm researching? Sure, let's do this. You know how the nanomachine core is still a black box, just like when it was first developed? It's a secret, but I hear it has a bug. If used for building and construction, it has a tendency to create useless corridors with locks. This poses no real harm, so it's been kept under wraps. I just happened to find a secret document describing the bug, and this is a collection of all the hidden passages from all over the world based on that document. That is all the secret to my pers that is the secret to my personal hidden warehouse. There's still 17 or 18 that I haven't opened yet. I search with them every time we disembark, but it's tough. Well, doesn't it seem fun? Almost like a treasure hunt, right? Almost like you're in a video game or something. Oh, the ones on the ship are mine, so don't open them. Or rather, you already found a door? I have. That's my Xion. 
You are sharp as a tack. Th thank you very much. Why are you being weird? This is exciting. Get excited, Xion. We got a segment found. We have discovered number seven. We need to discover all. Oh. What do you think of the segment file? If you think it's interesting, search patiently. Even if you find it interest the key sometimes in a totally different place. The keys. You know I've got a bad feeling about this particular mission. Maybe your intuition proves, improves over the years. If something happened to me, would you find all the remaining doors for me and open them? I just hate to leave things unfinished. Looking at how I can discover them and it's like a special noise to me. Let's tap them. It's, it almost seems like something terrible is going to happen to you. All right, let's look at uh, the ES file, which is not a separate menu. It's just an item. So we got seven, we got 10. This is the simulator. So we actually found two. That's cool. Um, I don't even know where I came from. Yeah, I think I came from here and then he... Hey! And then I said, hey! So I'm over here. <laughs> Those things, they're called Gnosis, right? Do you think they're real? They're telling the public that they don't exist. Much like the Loch Ness Monster or the Abominable Snowman. Y'all still know about this 4,000 years later? It's crazy. Since we were investigating the disappearance of a planet, I thought we'd be out of out here for at least half a year, but now that we've picked up one little piece of floatsome, that's it. What a letdown. Hee <laughs> hee, I never lose. Yo, Miss Vecta! Come join us for a friendly game. Huh? Well, okay. Better be friendly. Nobody gets weird. Ah, no need to worry. The rules are simple. We're just gonna play tag. We're gonna try to catch up, all right? All you gotta do is get the item behind us without getting caught, and you win. Don't try to charge straight through us either. You need to watch your opponent's moves and use the features of the corridor to your advantage. You ready? Here we go. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm already feeling. Okay, why isn't the other guy? Oh my goodness! I've never seen this before! They split up! Well, do this again, bruh! Do this again! What? That is tricky! What am I supposed to do? Dodge around? She can't juke like this? And yeah, let's play this again! We're gonna win this! What are you- what? Why, is, why didn't the other dude move? It's so weird! Um, what am I supposed to do if he doesn't move again? Okay, cool. Alright, they're both moving now. That's great. That's what I want to see. Not bad, not bad at all. With those moves, you'll be fine even when things get hot. That was, that was a pretty good juke though. Like, the, like, I'm not gonna say anything, but like, I was that kind of tripped me out a little bit. Or maybe it's just a ploy by Vector and the military brass to get funding for a new project. Um, I forgot what that dude was talking about. Are you talking about the? The floatsome. Man, the nerve. Those strangers took over the hangar and filled it with their stuff, so there's no room for our equipment. Well, please don't touch that electromagnetic net. It's barricaded against gnosis, but it'll electrocute people too. So, what happens if I touch it? Okay, nothing happens, okay. <laughs> Doesn't electrocute me.
Oh, this is an eggs capsule. You can carry an eggs inside and deploy it as necessary. It uses the same space compression technology used in transportation to create a totally self-contained portable eggs hanger. Oh, that's cool. That's how we can just jump into our eggs, even though where where does it come from? You're from Vector, right? Don't have anything for you today. Or are you sending something? Well, if isn't the Vector Chief, what can I help you with today? I'll sell you whatever you need, real cheap. Sure, what do we have? What do you have? Um, med kits, escape packs, bio spear. We're going to get. These are expensive. Okay, no, it's not expensive. Look, look how weird this is. Instead of just saying like how much it costs, like I don't know, they have like a whole math problem, which I don't mind, but some people may not like that. So we're gonna get two of these. Bring it. Uh, can I get five? And I'm gonna get some ether packs. Can I get five? <laughs> can I get however many that I can? I just wanna use the rest of my money on this. Alright, cool. I'm just wasting money here. Don't mind me. Let's I see the oh I hit back. I hit back. You know that vapor is a plugin being used experimentally in the simulator? Yes, my company developed it. Yes, that's the one. It destroys obstacle via connection gear. They're announcing a working model soon, so Vector is sending us prototypes. If you're interested, come back later. Okay. I just want to look at um, other things they have here. So you can get... Um, Armor, and that's it. He really tells you this again? Yeah, man, I know. Alright. This really ticks me off. We have to escort an investigation we know nothing about and take on enemies that we know even less about. But when things really hit the fan, we're the ones who have to bear the full brunt of it. We should just leave it to the reality to get their asses kicked by those ghosts. Because yeah, they're not real people, they're just objects. Um, <laughs> moving on. This is my first tour and I got assigned an AIDS already. I'm the first in my class to get assigned, I'm so proud. Well, okay. You have no idea just how terrifying they really are. Only after fighting them, you realize just how futile it is. That's great. That's why you're here, right? To, to, to give us hope. <laughs> Inspire people. Oh, Chief Uzuki, here to use the egg simulator. Please feel free to contact me. Should there be anything I can help you with? All right. So we're not. I'm not going to use the egg simulator right now. But off screen, like after. I get to another, I get to the bridge, and there's a save point maybe somewhere. Um, off screen, I'm just gonna go in there and um, I'm going to grind until I get um, Xion's spell attack. Oh, hold on. Go to tech attacks here, all right, and we see, see her moves again. So I'm sorry, spell ray, she has spell ray. Um, and I want to get 90 tech points and just get that in high speed, basically. So I'm just gonna come back for that. And that's it, that's all I wanna do. Since we were investigating the disappearance of a planet, I thought we'd be out here for at least half a year. But now that we've picked up one little piece of floatsome, that's it. What a letdown. Oh, that's the same guy. Um, 
yeah and also i'm gonna like grind it so like it's a level uh, uh level five just because it's a cool number <laughs> and xion is always slightly too weak for things who are you state your name and rank oh you're a vector personnel you see this is an emergency catch so there's no arrow everything will get sucked out if you open this in space so please stay away from it just to be safe all right so what happens when i press this button hey you get away from that there right now don't touch that console oh he's really not gonna let me touch it really can i get out of here from am i thin enough oh no oh no i'm too i'm two kilograms too big to fit through my pixels my pixels all right i guess we gotta go the other way that's the first time where someone was serious about not pressing a button i'm impressed I will press the buttons. You don't stop me. We'll eventually get to the bridge. Hey, it's the cute girl again. Excuse me. Have you seen Lieutenant Virgil? Also, Virgil is a cool name. It starts with a V. Like, how many names start with a V? Vegeta. But besides Vegeta, how many names start with a V? Yes, I just saw him in the Vialian Infirmary. What? The reality in front of me? That's strange. Why would he go there? I thought he was a DME addict. Ah, so he is a DME addict. We're still talking about how he's a DME addict. That's crazy. He needs to stop eating that dragon meat. Uh, discovered segment address number 16. Uh, cool. You like those? Sheesh, look at those two. They've been making out in there the whole time. Get a room for crying out loud. Also, why are you just standing here and watching like you, you might as well get your cell phone out or, or connection gear and record that shit, right they're not making out also is everyone got the same hairstyle or it's the same girl like five times on this shit they're not really making out i really wanted to see two people making out uh what no i'm not doing anything oh i meant I, i'm working Jeez, I don't believe this. Why would anyone go out of their way and come into this room instead of just passing by? Oh shit, I'm sorry. I just want to talk to everybody. And here I was thinking that we finally found a place where we could be alone. Okay, don't you guys have your own quarters though? And here I was, okay. I, I think I ruined everything. <laughs> uh, let's see, where did I put it? Um, oh yes, that's, that's what, right, I remember now. So, this is the save point. Alright, but first I gotta get to the bridge, alright? I'm gonna save here. Really quick. See that? Super quick. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> Maybe, like, if I step out of here. We walk back together. Wait, let me just... I'm just gonna, like, do some science. If I walk out of the area, will, will they get back to making out with each other? I put quotation marks around making out with each other uh, because they, they literally just look like they were just having a conversation. Maybe it was a conversation about sex, who knows? Let me see. Yep, they're back together. Cool. I'm not going to disturb you again. Um, let's go. Those seraphim, seraphim girls, seraphim sisters, sure got some nice pipes. Their moves could use a little reward though. So that's what the seraphim sisters look like. And we will never know what they sound like. Sadly. I hate to break it to you guys. I know you're like, maybe in the next episode they'll sing. They won't. We will never know. It's been repeating the same footage over and over. But if you try to change it, that marine over there goes into a rage. You can tell they don't let him out. out let him out often. So marines are not very muscular anymore. What's up? The hologram they have here are of the best quality. You know, the other day we had a gnosis hollow, and the entire crew panicked. It was utter chaos. Okay, holograms can never be like good quality because it's always like fading, like a faded image. Like, I don't see how this 
how that's better than HD TV. So what happens when I press this button? <laughs> Will he get go into a rage? Nothing happened. What? I should have read that, but I didn't read it. Whatever. Um, this is such a waste of my break. Hey, what'd you do that for? I was watching that program. Turn it back on yourself. Bye. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. I can't believe how laid back they are. You don't know when we'll be under attack, but those guys are totally oblivious. I've never fought Gnosis before, but I think I have a good grasp of how terrifying they are. Not even this state-of-the-art ship will stand a chance against them. Uh, what? Wongline is totally safe. We're gonna be on Wongline for the rest of the time. We'll stay on this ship forever. It's just, it's just a door that does nothing. All right, let's go. Are we getting close to the bridge? What does this button do? Beth just closes the door. It says okay. It closes the door. Let's press it again. <laughs> Whenever I look at this switch, I hear a voice. Press me, hurry up and press me. I dare you to press me. Can't you hear it too? I can. What does it do? I bet it just closes the door again. Not very impressive button. Better than the other button that closes like multiple doors. Hey, enough is enough already. Don't blame them for everything. Shut up. I've had, I've had enough of your equal rights for realians, and it goes against humanity crap. The realians on this ship aren't like the old models that were assigned to Milsha. An incident like that will never happen again. How can you be so sure? After all, they're nothing but combat weapons. I mean, it really seems like they're combat weapons. Like, you saw that dude stand up and say that he was proud of what he's doing, despite the fact that he was considered merchandise. I don't know. Like, you've pretty much programmed them to be slaves. Like, unlike the, the androids in, in Detroit Become Human, it's not like any of them are, like, clamoring for freedom. <laughs> There's, there doesn't seem to be a reality re revolt going on. This central elevator goes directly to the bridge. You're Chief Uzuki Vector, right? Of Vector, right? The captain is expected. Please hurry. I do what I want. Okay, I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna go over here. This gate is currently closed. Please use another gate. Alright, what is this? What does this one do? <laughs> Let's see if I'm like back uh, somewhere else. Man, how long is she going to make me wait? She said to wait in front of the information board, but she hasn't bothered to show up at all. Damn it, my break's almost over. There's an email for Xion. Sure. We we love these emails, right? We all get excited. Ninja Soul release Namco just loses loses the shooting game. I'm really not gonna read this because it doesn't pertain to the game at all. This is just this is just breaking the fourth wall and all that. Cute, guys. Cute. Are we gonna discuss this? This must be the interesting email someone mentioned I'd be getting earlier. It sounds like fun! I enjoy video games! Because I'm in a video game! Okay. Wow, it's... What, what do you call those things? Easter eggs? For old games that no one really cares about? Ooh. All right. Be cool if, if uh, they were Easter egging a cool video game. I don't know if it's bad or not. I've just, I, I've never heard of this ninja. So it's probably about ninjas fighting. Just a wild guess. All right, now that we explored this ship, let's get to the bridge. Let's get, let's do the, the cutscene that's probably going to happen into a save point. You know, the usual. Ooh, there's people to talk to. You love NPCs, right? Because I love NPCs. You're 10 minutes late. It's no wonder that your research is behind schedule. I'm sorry. Instead of taking up more time with your apologies, you should hurry up and present your report to the captain. Well, that's where I'm going to go last. Thank you for letting me know where not to go. 
No need to worry, just one more gate jump and this operation will pretty much be over. We won't have to resort to that unfinished weapon either. Vector's headquarters is located on the Dameron, right? Which is a different ship that we are not on. You can take your time completing the weapon once you get there. Dameron. Yeah, yeah, we're not on that ship right now. It sure must be nice. You guys get to conduct your research while getting red carpet treatment on a military ship. On top of that, you'll get credit for active duty as well. well that's nice. Do I get military benefits? Do I get free education? Oh, you're from Vector, aren't you? How are you enjoying the wog line so far? She's a great ship, isn't she? I mean, it's fine. You know you'd better you'd be better off working on something more practical like naval engineering. Let me see if this person has anything else to say. By the way, we aren't counting on some prototype that was built as a hobby. Leave it to the pros if the enemy shows up. Okay, sure. I won't I won't even bring her out. We'll just leave her there. If anything happens, I'm sure nothing's going to happen. Look how calm it is around here. Nothing could possibly happen. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi, Mark. You're quite young for a chief engineer. They sure do things differently in large corporations like Vector. What if I'm just a smart person? You're quite young. But just a young person to be given the opportunity to develop an Android weapon? Private companies sure have a lot of money to throw around. Uh-huh. I'm just... I'm just awesome. I'm the main character of an anime video game, so I can't be an old lady. Come on. You're not gonna have the main character be an old lady. She's not gonna be over 40. She has to be like around 20. I'm sorry. I hope you'll forgive my their rude remarks. Everyone's feeling a bit uneasy about their information blackout surrounding this mission. Wow, that's weird. How do you do information blackout? Seems like there's information be at people's fingertips. It's just that your department is an easy target for people to vent their frustrations against. As military personnel, they really ought to maintain their decorum, regardless of their personal concerns over the mission. See there, it, 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 you know what's up. You know what's up. I'm not, I'm not really offended by anybody, you know? I'm literally not doing much. I'm, I'm really walking around with my mini, my mini dress on, trying to look cute. Um, I hear the Gnosis are extremely immobile. I'm not so certain that the ship's F FCS is even capable of using, of pursuing them. Yeah, because I know what FCS means. It means, uh, frocking cable, uh, ship. That's what that means. Um, this is a good, you thought, they thought they could fool me. I know exactly what these, uh, acronyms mean. This isn't good. It looks like they use low-grade coal and the exhaust is too thick. At this rate, they'll see us coming from beyond the horizon. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. The main engine on this ship is a Zusai Model 2, a cutting-edge logical drive. It doesn't use coal. Yeah, I was wondering, like, are we still using coal? Why would we be on the ship? Like, dang, we cars are better than that. I hear that this is extremely mobile. I'm not so certain that this ship's... Okay, so he's just this. Shoot, we're low on hypergol. Hey, you got any good oxidizer? I'm just kidding. The ship doesn't use chemical propulsion e either. It's completely free from the limitations of Newtonian dynamics. Jeez. Okay, th this guy is like uh, the physics joke guy. But he's really bad at it. A modern warship cannot exist without a network. A fleet? No, the military itself is like a giant living entity. A mere link with this ship can mobilize several thousand troops, and that's just through one synapse. Our communication department is quite knowledgeable in the use of hardware, and the entire staff is fluent in several languages. The work itself, though, is not very fulfilling at times. Wow. It's like it's like Enterprise, but everyone's way more qualified, as, as opposed to just having Aurora be the only person that can, that can communicate with anybody. I always thought they should have more people doing that. Our communications department is quite okay. I mean, to be fair, Enterprise has a lot of people on it. We just only see those people on the bridge. This bridge looks far more well-equipped than Enterprise. Let's, let's just say that. 
right, so let's get over to our good-natured, level-headed captain. Please excuse me for being late. Don't worry about it. I'm, I wasn't. <laughs> now that you're here, can you please show us Cosmos's data? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Right away. I thought she's about to say something else. Now, that guy, that guy, I'd call him sir. I see. I understand the basic specs. So, where's the actual field data? Well, it's not quite ready. All I can provide today is up to A7. So you don't have Where it. What do you actually train it on in the well, actual field? You're on a ship. We'll begin testing with a mock-up unit very soon. But the system is still a little unstable and... Aren't you just making excuses? Listen, Chief Uzuki. Why do you think you're on this ship? Think about that for a moment. This fleet may be newly outfitted, but it was assembled under major time constraints. And we have eggs units, but the 100 series observational units that go with them aren't available until later. What would happen if by some chance we were attacked by those things? I don't think I need to describe the outcome to you. The purpose of Cosmos deployment was to address this issue. Or am I mistaken? No, sir. Listen, you're not in a laboratory anymore. You're on a warship. This is a battlefield. Cosmos was supposed to be our frontline defense here, and now you're telling us it hasn't even woken up yet. There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of bed. That thing's only meaningful to us when it's fully operational. Why can't you- Let it go, Commander. These people are working under serious time constraints. Just like our own squadron. Besides, they're only one step away from actual field testing. In the end, we all want to see this operation completed without having to resort to that thing. Don't we? Of course, Captain. But I believe we- Ugh, who's calling me? Is there a problem? He's right, and we are safe uh, by the bell. Uh, no. Something urgent's come up. If you'll excuse me. I wonder what's wrong. I don't know. Well, never mind. That's enough for today, Chief Uzuki. Let me know if any new developments arise. I'm sorry we failed to meet your expectations. Oh, there's no need to apologize. What's important to us is how reliable the system is once we start using it. Rushing the project won't get us anywhere. So just calm down and take as much time as you need. The government's funding it all anyway, right? <laughs> you must be tired. Take the rest of the day off. Oh my god, he's so chill and laid back. I like him. Are you tired? Just chill. Calm down. Take your time. It'll it'll all it'll all be all right. Um, I'm kind of in the Sharonkov boat because we everyone's have everyone's on easy. We we do have the aliens. We have AIDS, but we really need to have this weapon ready at some point guys let's you know come on let's do this we love emails let's do their email right this is the best part of the game you can't tell me any different great i thought you'd be in i just forwarded you the file you need please save the file attached to this email the text file is a plugin called sprinkle which is being distributed for free by a software company called magnelli systems let me give you a brief explanation of Sprinkle capabilities for your reference. This plugin works by taking advantage of unused cycles on the connection gear, so it does not burden the connection gear's ordinary functions. It repeats required processes only when the connection gear is not being used. The results of its calculations are automatically fed back to the boards in this secret server. That's the general idea behind Sp Sprinkle. Okay, then let's work hard, although it's really the connection gear that's doing all the work, huh? Miyuki. P.S. I may be able to finish it, even if you don't help. Well, of course I'm going to help. Let's let's sprinkle. We did it. We're sprinkling everywhere now. 
We're sprinkling on people. We're sprinkling in, in this bridge right now. Let's sprinkle on down to our, uh, back to our room perhaps, or back to a save point. Um, what was our last save point? We'll go back there. So we've talked to everybody, as far as I know. They're, they're having a DBH a debate over there on the bench. Chief Uzuki, a Vector 1st R&D Division. You have a package from Vector HQ. Please claim your package at the eggs hangar as soon as possible. So the eggs hangar. I know exactly where that is. I really don't. I may be lost. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm going in the right direction, because it's definitely back here. Let's check out our items really quick. Let's see. Let's check this out. 17 mech is what I'd like to see. Um, it's actually... Maybe I shouldn't have wasted so much money on on med kits that had low recovery. I really want the, the mid-level ones. But whatever, we did it. It's too late. We'll make the best of it. I'm a brilliant statistician. Strat strat I can't even say the word. <laughs> that may or may not be true, guys. We'll see. Let's get that package. I guess I gotta come all the way across here to talk to you. You're from Vector, right? There's a package for you. It's addressed to Miss Uzuki. It looks dangerous, so be careful while handling it. Hmm, MWS. So this is what Miyuki's email was about. Hmm, I guess she still intends to use me as her guinea pig. So, is it equipped? That is the real question here. It is automatically equipped, that's great. Um, you know what? Let me see if I can extract skills. Okay, so first of all, to, to extract skills... You gotta have skill points, do I have skill points? Yeah, I do have skill points. First of all, you gotta unequip. This is such a long process, guys. We're gonna unequip these things and see what happens here. We're gonna go back to skills. We're gonna see if we can extract. Can't extract anything. That's great. I love when I can't extract it. So I need 60 skill points. So basically after I grind and get and get Xion to level five, perhaps I'll be able to um, extract a skill, but right now I don't have a lot of points. Um, so let's equip everything back because she will die instantly if I don't do this. She has protector. So see that this this displays the enemy HP information. I know that when you extract a skill from this, you can put it on them and have someone else just have a skill as opposed to an accessory that can display the HP information. So. I will just have protector on, so, you know, um, let's go back on, um, protector, you can have both, okay, that's cool. All right, actually, let's go back and see if I can extract, I was hitting the wrong button, see if I can, uh, okay, so you do have to unequip things, um, in order to do that. Because that's not difficult or unintuitive at all. Um, Alright, so we got our package, we got our weapon. That the red thing, it's not anything we haven't seen before. And then we're going to... Oh, cutscene. Phew, I'm getting a little tired. I think I should go rest in my room for a while. So when you're in a, when you're in a JRPG and you have your own character saying they need to rest, clearly when you go to bed, it will continue the plot. So let me not go to bed actually. Actually, let me go back to my room. No, wait, wait. Um, 
let me get to a save point. That is not my room. Somewhere that's close to the hangar, because that's where you can go in there and level up. I don't really want to fight the Gnosis that's in the Encephalon, because I feel like they're too powerful for me. and I don't want to use all my med kits. I guess I can use all my ether packs because I'll be healing a lot. But yeah, I'll probably, it'll be something I do off stream. Off stream? Off camera. Alright, cool. This. Oh. Okay, what? Where's, where's that save point? Okay, yeah, it's right here. So I'll, all I would have to do is go back down and I'll be in the hangar and then I can get um, experience points for grinding. Fun times. All right, everyone. Hopefully you guys have fun. Um, next time, I'll be using a different mic. I just bought a mic on off of Amazon. Um, I still, I had a choice. I had a little bit of dilemma between getting a new strapless bra, because I don't have one, and it's summertime, and I, and I would love to wear my uh, strapless dresses, but I'll get it next time, for because I'm really into this um, YouTube thing right now, so I think it's a better investment to just buy a mic. And it's not like I'll be wearing a sundress right now. Anyways, I just wear work clothes <laughs> all the time. All right, so I'll see you in the next session. Bye. -bye.